Hello everybody, welcome to Jartex Global and today we are with the Jeremy Lopez, COO at Everdome. Hello Jeremy, how are you? I'm fantastic, thank you. <laughs> so Jeremy, talking about Metaverse, how do you see the growth of Metaverse uh, in the in uh, Middle East? As it pertains to the Middle East, I mean, I, I think this is a very, just technologically in general, it, it's a, a very hyper growth area, um, which, uh, you know, Everdome being based here, we find is something as a, a major benefit. There seems to be a lot of support for the idea as well as the technology and kind of where its path is heading. The definitions and everything behind what it's going to be are still being decided. And the players that are involved, you know, the, the trees are still shaking out and we're starting to see how, how people are interacting with this. But the potential for what's going to happen is amazing. And this area is really doing a great job of fostering that growth. So can you tell us in brief about Everdome's Metaverse? Yeah, so in brief, Everdome is creating, uh, obviously being very biased, is creating something very unique in the way that we've put together a, a hyper-realistic metaverse. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to bridge the gap between what we experience here in real life and what the future of this digital innovation is going to be. So uh, we hear a lot that people are always thinking, the metaverse is going to be something very dystopic or utopic or a completely different technology that we can't grasp. What Everdome has done is we've kind of dialed it back and we've built it on real life elements, actually on real life science. We have research facilities in Poland where people do Mars testing for space flights and all this kind of stuff. So a lot of what we have actually comes from real science. Um, and so what we've done is we've taken this and we've made it so it's easy to understand. And then we've broken down kind of the laws of physics as you get further into the project. And then what we're doing is we're partnering with brands to bring user engagement to our audience and vice versa, you know, building a user base that is looking for the kind of engagement that the brands are going to be bringing along as well. So what are the challenges some of the businesses might face while implementing the Web3 technologies? Yeah, I mean, I think education on the technology in its own, uh, trying to understand what the ecosystem looks like. I mean, when you're looking at Web3 as a whole, not just the metaverse, you're looking at blockchain, you're looking at a bunch of different layers in, in terms of the technology and how it's going to be centralized or decentralized. So education is going to be a major player. Um, resources around finding the creative as well as the development type of people to fulfill these roles is I, I also think going to be a very large challenge for a lot of businesses that are growing in this space. But I think one of the biggest one is just trying to find a vision that they can match with what the audience is really looking for. So I think Everdome recently got a funding of 10 million um, sponsored by Gem Digital Limited. Right. So can you tell us more about this and how are you going to utilize this fund? We've partnered with in, um, uh, partnered with GEM Digital and uh, like you said, we, we took that investment on board and we're going to be using these funds to really focus on the development side, uh, really fast tracking our VR uh, experience, which is something that we've just recently opened up to some of our NFT holders, so people that are inside the system. Uh, furthermore, we're going to use it for a lot of sustainable development going forward. So like some of the hurdles that I was talking about, hiring, finding the quality of people, whether it's in VFX or development. Um, and then lastly, we're going to be spending some of that uh, in, in the marketing field because getting the word out and making sure people understand exactly what the metaverse could be, not what it is because there's no set definition, but what it could be is very important to us. So if somebody wants to purchase a land on Everdome's metaverse, what can they do? So we ran our land sale. It was about three months ago. We ran it for two months, sorry, four months ago, we ran it for two months and we sold out 97, almost 98% of the total land that's open for the public. So now if anybody wants to purchase land, they have to go on to OpenSea and they can purchase it from one of the other owners that way. So going forward in 2023, what are your plans for the year? 2023 is really going to be a continued year of development, making sure that we have the infrastructure and everything set up to continue scaling how many users will be able to actually come into Everdome and actually be able to use our metaverse experience while at the same time um, continuing to develop partnerships that will guarantee engagement and visibility for themselves as well as the entire experience as a whole. And just lastly, how do you see the security aspect of Everdome's metaverse? Security is going to be a question that's going to continue to come up and you have to obviously spend a lot of focus on the technologies that you're going to use to build an, an ecosystem like this. Uh, I mean, if you're if you're talking about all of Web3, you're looking at the security around blockchain individually, then you're looking at security around crypto, then you're going to be looking at security around user data. And these are all things that we are fundamental and core to the center of what we're doing at Everdome. 
But as to how that's going to be played out, I mean, that's an ever evolving game. What we do is we try to make sure that everyone that comes in, their data and everything that they're using is as safe as possible. But it is the technology game. So, you know, we, we have to look forward into any possible shortcomings that could happen and plan to, to, to overcome those.